Hello and welcome to our review of The Gorazdi Incident by James Dolby, our very own security services expert. Now, when I first saw the cover, I immediately thought, well, this is either about somebody with a, a very expensive hobby or we've been dropped into the centre of some war zone featuring dust, destruction and the deafening din from a mass of military machinery. But no, when I turned the pages, I was pleasantly surprised. What we find is an intriguing, exhilarating spy thriller. And yes, it does feature a helicopter, but inside that clunky, heavy hardware, we find one beautifully stylish and accomplished agent called Latvia Patricia. Silonovich. And the reason for her helicopter obsession rotates around the singularly important objective, which is to kidnap the Prime Minister of Great Britain. But why? Well, the story is set in the 1990s and it's all concerning the complicated Balkan War, or rather, how to put an end a negotiably acceptable end to the complicated Balkan War by offering the town of Gorazdi as a sort of peace offering. Now, I'm sure these days Gorazdi is a, a city and I, I fully apologise to the people of Gorazdi for the way that I pronounce uh, that name. Anyway, it all sounds very complicated, not my pronunciation of Grazdi, I just love saying that, uh, but the story itself sounds complicated. Well, I can assure you it isn't. I mean, in the beginning, we are introduced to uh, a large cast of characters um, who all have a vested interest in the outcome of the Balkan War, and not all of them honourable motives. Let me just say that. Well, what do you expect? Anyway, so we've got uh, military figures, heads of security, uh, rogue agents, all with pockets full of private procedures, sensitive information and some rather important priority codes. And it's all so plausible. I mean, I was looking over my shoulder as I was reading this, wondering where the security services were going to pop up, monitoring me reading all this top secret information. And it made me wonder, actually, how is it that the author, James Dolby, knows all this stuff? Yeah, there's a story. I mean, is he? Was he an agent? A spy? Well, with all the detail that drips from this spy master's pen, one can only assume that, well, maybe. Anyway, this is a very good story with a wide appeal and it delivers an intelligent spy story. We've got the enigmatic agent with a packed suitcase of skills and gadgets who can hold her negotiating nerve in a room full of Russian generals and then slink off on some extravagant spending spree uh, on an international scale, I have to say, from her $2 million US dollar, that is, Swiss bank account. I mean, anyway, we mustn't forget the other important key questions in any brilliant spy thriller, and that is, could Latvia be a double agent? Or a triple agent? Hmm. Or could there be a leak in one of her Balkan bunkhouses? And should she complete her mission, who stands to gain the most from her disappearance? Well, here's another female constantly looking over her shoulder, even while sleeping. But she's a determined woman who appears to have thought of everything, including death. So, there we are. A gripping spy thriller with a detailed style and lightness that we've come to expect from James Dolby. 
who, like any accomplished agent, can tiptoe into your life and then disappear with barely a regret. Yeah, the Garazdi incident. Get that word into your day, Garazdi. Uh, and, in fact, get the book into your life. Scroll up and down, have a look. I've put it down below on the old website, you know, so you can contact James directly or you can find it in other places and you know where those places are. Anyway, that's enough of that. Thank you for listening and please subscribe to our YouTube channel, The Book Review Bubble, for more reviews. Hmm. Thank you. Bye.